problem number four in your textbook. Illustration number four. Page numbers may vary. 10.9. Right on. The income tax officer. You have now become an income tax officer. The income tax officer on assessing the income of Sri Modi. No, not Modi. He is a clean man. I have a lot of respect for him. The income tax officer and assessing on assessing the income of Sri Modi, not Modi. Sri Modi, he, I think Modi is a man who has no personal assets. He is living only for the country. He, is dedicated, he has dedicated his life to the nation. This will be no disproportionate assets case against him. So, the income tax officer on assessing the income of Sri Modi for the financial years 2011-12 on assessing the income of Sri Modi for the financial years 2011-12 and 2012-13 2011-12 and 2012-13 feels that Sri Modi has not disclosed the full income feels that Sri Modi has not disclosed the full income the income tax officer feels that Sri Modi has some undisclosed profits on which he would like to charge penalty interest and recover it the and gifts also very good feels that Sri Modi has not disclosed the full income full stop He gives you the following particulars of assets and liabilities. He gives you the following particulars of assets and liabilities of Sri Modi He gives you the following particulars of assets and liabilities of Sri Modi as on 1st April 2011 and 1st April 2013. So you are now given data not for one year, for two years. 1st April 2011 and 1st April 2013. Right on, 1st April 2011, two column table. Heading 1st April 2011, two column table. You will write 1st April 2011 date, underline it. Below that you will prepare a two column table. Particulars, rupees. Write down. Assets, underline. Cash in hand, 25,500. Cash in hand, 25,500. Stock, 56,000. Debtors, 41,500. Debtors, 41,500. Land and building, 190,000. Land and building, one lakh ninety thousand. Wife's jewelry, wife's jewelry, seventy-five thousand. Liabilities now. Liabilities. Wife will never accept to buy jewelry with loan. Liabilities, underline. <laughs> Owing to Moti's brother. Owing to Moti's brother. 
नॉट मोती मोती गोइंग टू मोतीज ब्रदर दैट मींस मिस्टर मोती हैज बोरोड सम मनी गोइंग टू मोतीज ब्रदर 40000 सन्ड्री क्रेडिटर्स थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड दिस इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन गिवेन टू यू एज ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड इलेवन नेक्स्ट फर्स्ट अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन अंडरलाइन पर्टिकुलर रूपीज टू कॉलम टेबल पर्टिकुलर रूपीज टू कॉलम टेबल एसेट्स अंडरलाइन Please be quick. First April 2013. Particulars rupees. Write down assets underlying. Cash in hand. Sixteen thousand. Cash in hand. Sixteen thousand. Stock. Ninety one thousand five hundred. Stock ninety one thousand five hundred. Cash in hand sixteen thousand. Stock ninety one thousand five hundred. Sundry debtors fifty two thousand five hundred. Fifty two thousand five hundred. Sundry debtors fifty two thousand five hundred. Land and building. One lakh ninety thousand. Land and building. One lakh ninety thousand. Motor car. Now Modi has become very rich. He is able to afford a motor car also. Motor car. One lakh twenty five thousand rupees. Water, nano, nano, something. Wife jewelry. White jewelry, one lakh twenty five thousand rupees. White jewelry, one lakh twenty five thousand rupees. It has increased now. Unavoidable expenditure. Loan to Modi's brother, right? Please be very careful. Loan to Modi's brother. Now Modi has changed from a debtor to a creditor. On first April he was a debtor to Mr. to his brother. Now he has become a creditor to his brother. Loan to Modi's brother now. Twenty thousand. It's an asset for Modi now. He has to recover money from his brother now. These are the list of assets, liabilities. Sundry creditors. Sundry creditors. Fifty five thousand. Over. Information is given over. Now paragraph. Right now. During the two years. During the two years. Domestic expenditure was four thousand per month. During the two years, domestic expenditure was four thousand per month. Full stop. Declared income for the financial years. Declared income for the financial years, eleven twelve was one lakh five thousand. Declared income for the financial years eleven twelve was one lakh five thousand, and twelve thirteen was. And twelve thirteen was one lakh twenty three thousand. So he has already declared some income to the income tax department. One lakh five thousand eleven twelve and one lakh twenty three thousand in twelve thirteen. Full stop. State whether income tax officer's contention is correct. First of all, what is the doubt of the income tax officer? He doubts that. What he has informed to the department is not what is actual. 
His actual profits are more than the profits informed to the department. So he's doing some investigation now. State whether the income tax officer's in contention is correct. Explain by giving your workings. Now tell me what will, the, what will be the approach you are going to follow now. Again, we will prepare statement of affairs on both 1st April 2011 and 1st April 2013. That's it. What are the dates? 1st April 2011 and 1st April 2013. Calculate capital balances. Calculate adjusted closing capital. Compare with opening capital to calculate profits. Is it clear? Let's start. Statement of Affairs, 1st April 2011, 1st April 2013. is not important because it's a memorandum statement, rough statement. So let us include it in the order in which it is given in the problem only. Cash in hand. Children, what is the first April figure? 25,500. 25, Next, what do we have? Stock. 56,000. Then, the cars. I'm just taking the copies. Problem. I'm just copying the numbers from the problem. Next, land and building. One lakh twenty thousand. Because there is no information given about depreciation, I'm assuming the values remain the same. Okay. Next. Wife jewelry. Wife jewelry seventy five thousand and next motor car. Motor car. First April eleven nil twenty loan to Moti's brother. April nil That's it, I think there are no other assets. Now come to liability side, capital. Question mark, question mark. Then what do we have? Sundry creditors. Forty-five thousand. Fifty-five thousand. Loan from Moti's brother. Forty thousand. Nil. Asset side is complete, liabilities are complete, calculate capital as balancing figure. Total the assets, tell me what is the total of the assets? Here? Three lakh eighty eight thousand and six lakh twenty thousand. 
capital balancing figure how much 3 lakh For, from here I have forgotten single entry. So now you have to tell me how to calibrate the profits. I lost my memory temporarily. Zero? Fine, as I told you. Whenever you tell me a wrong answer, no, my memory will come back. After this, what should you do now? So you have to calculate adjusted closing capital. Calculation of Adjusted closing capital. Particulars rupees. Closing capital. How much it? Is this number correct? First of all, tell me, 565,000. Everyone got the same number? Yes, sir. 565,000, closing capital. Then tell me, what are the adjustments you have to do now? Add drawing, add interest on drawing, less further capital, less interest on capital, less salary remuneration commission. But it is a, he is a proprietor now. Hence, you don't have interest on drawings and interest on capital. Add back drawing. How much was the drawings? 4,000 per month into 24 months. Why 24 months? The period under consideration is 2 years. Do you have any further capital introduced by Mr. Modi during these 2 years? I'll just change the heading of the working road. Calculation of adjusted closing capital and profit. Same working road, I'll complete that. Adjusted closing capital, how much do I get, please tell me? Six lakh. Sixty-one thousand. Less opening capital. P like thirteen thousand profits P like forty eight thousand profits per eleven twelve and twelve thirteen profits per eleven twelve and twelve thirteen it is three lakh forty eight thousand rupees. Profits for 11, 12 and 12, 30, it is 3 lakh 48 thousand rupees. Right on, next working note. Undisclosed income. Undisclosed income. Profits earned three lakh forty eight thousand rupees less profits reported. How much was reported? One lakh. One lakh five thousand plus. So two lakh twenty. 8,000 was reported. Undisclosed income, how much?
undisclosed income 120,000 rupees. So what do we write now? Below that, contention of the income tax officer is correct. Tax officer is correct. We'll stop for the day. Tomorrow, 